Hello, welcome to the page tab demo and tutorial and let me tell you what the page actually is. Page is the component of the body and it contains various elements like menu, header, content and footer. First option under the page tab is the background option and from here I am applying the background color to the page. Next is the layout option. Under the layout, we have two alternatives, fixed and fluid. Under fixed, the dimensions are bound to certain number of pixels and under fluid, the dimensions are calculated in terms of percentage. After the layout option, we have the width option for the page. You can set the width of your page from here and you can go to more and set the width of the page manually also. Next is your border option. Here are the various styling options for the border. You can set the border style to be dotted, dashed or solid. From here you can set the thickness. Next is the radius option for the page border. I am setting the 0 pixels radius only and color of the border you can set. After the border option you have the margin option. You can give the margin to the page from top and bottom. Just go to more and set the margin for the page from the top. You can also set the margin from the bottom. Just go to the margin option and specify the margin from the bottom. Here I am giving margin to the page. We have completed all the layout options. Coming to the texture options, here are the various textures you can apply to the page. Suppose I am applying this texture and next is your effects. Apart from textures, you can also apply effects to the page. Coming to the shadow part, you can apply any of the shadow from the gallery. I'm applying this one and to customize your shadow you can go to more and this is the color option for the shadow and these are the options for the blurness angle and distance from here you can set the blurness of the shadow then the angle of the shadow you can set from here and the distance of the shadow. This is your page view in the desktop and next I am going to the tablet view and here I am removing the shadow. This is your tablet view and now I'm going to mobile view. This is your mobile view. Here also I'm removing the shadow. Going back to the desktop and the shadow removed from mobile and tablet will not be having any effect on the desktop view. That's all in the page tab. Do watch our next videos also. Thank you.